And she's all hooked up. She's got the uh, Boost Auto Parts Retrofit Key Fob. She's got the key tag. Oh! oh <laughs> so today I'm going to show you guys how to level your tow mirrors for 96 cents using our six millimeter washers. Now, if you wanted to use three on each bolt, you're going to come out to a total of a dollar and 44 cents. We're finally going to level out the Boost Auto Parts tow mirrors. You're holding the chicken. All right, we're going to add that to the intro. So you guys have been beating me up in the comments enough, so I think it's about time and I owe it to you. So I'm going to show you guys my method on how I level out this bat wing tow mirror right here actually on both sides of course um so i'm going to show you guys exactly how to do that so make sure you watch this video from start to finish this is mrs truck master's build right here this is actually an lb7 duramax this is an 05 i know it doesn't make a lot of sense for some of you duramax guys that know what i'm saying it's an 05 with an lb7 engine in it we were able to mock all that up um we're just plugging away at the build slowly right now we're still waiting on some stuff. I think you're really gonna be surprised, so make sure you continue to follow this build as well. Let's get after it. All right, check it out. So this is very common for all Silverados at this era. So your O, well, I guess your 2000 to 2006 or your 2007 uh, classic sort of style here. You have this slant right there. I know the newer body styles, it's pushed out a little bit. So basically, it's going to wing out every single one of these tow mirrors. So that's why they do that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna correct that. We're gonna make it level. We're not gonna get it perfect because quite honestly, you're not gonna really see these actually perfect level sitting, but we're gonna do our best guys. So I'm gonna have Melanie. She's gonna go ahead and be my assistant. Um, but what I'll do is I'll go ahead and pull the covers off. I'll have you pull the bolts. Okay. So video me doing that. Okay. All right. Got to be very careful with this process right here. This cover right here, you can see it's, it's a cover, so you got to get it off. So I'm just going to use like a little flat blade. Just got to be careful not to scratch anything. I heard a crack. Oops. Oh, be careful you don't scratch it, but you can <laughs> drop it on the floor. <laughs> My bad. I'm sure it's fine. Yeah, don't do that. It's fine though. It's, there's nothing wrong with it, guys, so it's going to be all right. Okay, so these are the bolts that we're going to go ahead and loosen. We're actually going to take these two completely out, and we're going to loosen these quite a bit so um, we can put the washers in there. So let me show you how to, do, how to do that. There we go. All right, so just go ahead and take off the two top bolts. And then what you want to do is you just want to loosen, loosen these yeah, just loosen these down. Don't take them completely out. Loosen them about halfway too. That's good. So as you guys can see, it's sort of exposed a gap right in between this little base plate right here and then right here where the actual base is. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna squeeze two washers. I'm gonna go two first. We'll put two washers inside there. I'm gonna put the bolt right back in there. And then we're gonna go ahead and just tighten everything down. I'm gonna go ahead and just use some needle nose pliers and stick it back here just for a hand. This is a tricky job though, I will tell you what. And then once we're done with that, we're gonna go ahead and just zip these back in. And then once we've done that, I'm just gonna snug it in. I don't wanna strip these, these are so easy to strip. But what this is doing is, this is changing the angle, of course, but the biggest thing that you're probably gonna get hung up on is your cover that goes back over this. You may end up having to modify it in order for it to fit correctly. If you put three washers in there, I'm 100% sure you're gonna have to modify this, this little cover that goes over. So I hope that doesn't happen. We'll see, we'll see if everything lines up and fits correctly. I do wanna make these somewhat tight though, because these are, 
I mean, it, it winds bashing it, and uh, these things come loose on you, you're gonna have a bad day. All right. So yes, that definitely helped a lot, big time. So yeah, it's not perfect, but it's definitely a lot better than it was. I don't want to modify this cover right here. That's my biggest concern. So let's see what happens when we put this, how's this going again? Other way, yeah. Grabbed the wrong one. <laughs> so let's see if I have to modify this cover right here with, with only two. Yay. Success. Yeah. I have a really strange feeling that if I was to go three though, like I did with my truck, I'm gonna have to cut all those little fins inside there to make it sit flush. And I don't want to do that. I think it looks fine. It looks fine. I'm not it looks better than horse. it did. It's yeah. leveled. It definitely looks a lot more level than it did. So yeah. let's do the other side. I think it's gonna really come to life once I do the other side. I think you're gonna really tell a difference. And she's right, those bolts are very easy to strip, I promise. They're on extremely tight, so you gotta be careful. That's why I use just a hand ratchet, you know, just to make sure I'm not using too much force, because I kind of semi-stripped one, but I still, it had enough grip to remove a bolt, so. But yeah, they look so much better, and you guys can't beat me up in the comments anymore that my toe mirrors aren't level. My toe mirrors. Oh yeah, hers, I'm sorry. <laughs> Your toe mirrors are still not level. I know. Guys, the hardware store, when I went down there to get those six millimeter washers, I could not find six more, unfortunately. So we can't continue so this. He put me first. Isn't he so nice? Everybody, everybody mm -hmm. likes the, um, everybody likes the Wife Max better than the old red anyways, so. <laughs> you know, unfortunately, it's kind of hard to really see the detail on camera. It's kind of tough, so. It is kind of still. It, it does look a little winged out. But it's not, it's not as bad. It's definitely not as bad, and it's not like, Ugly. Actually, let me. Sh I'll show you my truck here in a second, and you'll definitely tell the difference. Actually, does this side look like it's it? Bad? This side always does. No, the driver's side. No matter what you do, really, the driver's side for some reason will always look off. It does. That no side, matter what. That one looks level. This one looks like it's up a little still. Oh, we're talking about totally different. See, I'm telling you, it's a different opposite. Because I, I honestly think that the driver's side looks different. It looks more off than this side. Really? Yeah. Maybe it's our eyes. It could be. Could be. I do have better eyesight than you. That's true. This side looks level, and you're saying this side does not look level. Yeah, that's how it looks to me anyways. So maybe we should put three there. See, the I problem is, is it changes the angle dramatically when you start putting washers and stuff in there. Yeah, so we I'm, gotta be careful. Yeah, and I'm not about messing with things too much. It's really not gonna bother me if it's just a little bit Aww. For the 12 cents a washer, it's definitely worth the investment for some of you guys that have these aftermarket tow mirrors. And I would probably venture to say that the majority of you guys watching this video that have this style truck more than likely are having this problem. If you actually level the China ones, the, the cheaper ones, unfortunately it's going to throw the angle off so much to the point where this right here will be bouncing like crazy when, when you're going down the highway. I've never had a problem with Boost Auto Parts products. So, um, look at it from this angle. That looks level to me. See how it's so, like, it's pretty level on this angle, and then look up the other side. Yeah, it looks really level on this, at this angle here. So let's go ahead and pull it outside. Okay. We'll pull it outside, and then we'll look at it outside so it's brighter, because outside is daytime. Yeah, see and if our eyes do any tricks on us out there with level, leveling. Yeah, and then also, uh, I'll take you outside too and show you my truck and show you <laughs> how bad my truck is and you'll you'll be like yeah that looks good <laughs> okay. oh man that looks so much better and then if you look at this one you guys see the difference right look, look at my driver's side winged out hard it really does look silly. Well, I guess it was good that we didn't do mine yet. 
Because now we're comparing. You can totally tell a difference. Looks so much better. Man, she's all hooked up. She's got the uh, Boost Auto Parts Retrofit Key Fob. She's got the key tag. Oh! oh I'm this time. <laughs> you, keep me, you keep throwing things at me. You said you promised. Oh, hey, oh, by the way, I leveled your tow mirror, so. Oh, well, thank you. We're good. We're good. I think that's all that matters. Build complete. Okay, so we're done, and guys, that's exactly how you do it for 96 cents. You can change the look of your tow mirrors, make them pretty much level. Not a bad gig. It'd take us like five minutes aside. Five, ten minutes. Not bad. Not bad at Depending all. Depending on how tight those bolts were. Yeah. You know? Yeah, those Might bolts were pretty tight. Might have a little trouble tight. with those, but other than that. And then also, guys, I'm going to leave a link in the description where you guys can pick up these tow mirrors. I really do like them. I always talk about them, and uh, usually when I find a product that works, I usually swear by them. So... Um, good company to work with and I do appreciate all their support. So that's it guys. I do appreciate your time. Make sure you guys subscribe if this is your first time, especially if you enjoy the content um, as we continue to plug away at her truck, the Life Max, uh, the second build or third build or whatever is on this channel. <laughs> we, we just can't keep it straight. No, you can't keep it straight. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> You're all over the place all the time. That's okay. I think that's why it's good I have a channel. You keep it interesting. <laughs> we'll see you guys on the next video. Stay tuned.